So did you have to research the condition? Uh, I, to be honest, no, I've had friends in the past who've got MS and I was really... I know it sounds really sort of stupid things. I was so proud of Hollyoaks for doing this storyline because MS is a really misunderstood condition. Mm -hmm. People think a lot of the times that it's ALS or that it's motor neuron disease. That's, you know, it's, it's a life-limiting disorder. And generally it's not. It doesn't impact your length of lifespan. Um, and, it, you know, especially when you have the condition which our characters have, which is relapsing remitting, you have periods in your life when you're absolutely fine and fit and healthy. Mm -hmm. And then you do have periods where the condition does rise up and has various symptoms of various people. Mm -hmm. and and the amazing thing is that people who do have the condition, they live with it. You know, mm, they don't let mm, it beat yeah. them. And they have the most full and amazing lives. And I think doing that on a TV show will yeah. actually help educate a lot of people as well. And that resonates with you, I assume, because you've yeah. also got a condition, haven't you, that I has to be do. managed. Yeah, I mean, I've got a condition called ankylosing spondylitis, so AS, MS, all mm. the rest of the S's. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, I've had mine since I was 18 years old. Um, so before I got into Corrie and Showbiz. And essentially, it's... Similar to MS, it's an autoimmune disorder, but mine sort of comes around through arthritis. Um, so what it is is that your, your spine is made up of a single vertebrae, uh, single vertebrae. And when you have AS, basically those vertebrae sol uh, solidify into one bone. Is it um, painful? It is painful, but it's, it's... First of all, out of all the things you can get, it's, it's not a bad one to have, because essentially what it means is you are forced to be active. Because um, the only way to really combat it is through diet, so I, I don't eat starch, um, but then physical exercise, because it kind of moves the vertebrae every single morning and stops the bones solidifying. So you have to exercise every single yeah, day? Yeah, ever since, you know, until... I mean, I'll be the fittest old biddy in the, in the retirement home. Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> I'll be there with a six-pack running so around on my cane. So whole life you can't eat carbs and you have to exercise every single day? Yeah, but, I mean, I let myself eat carbs on Christmas Day. Uh, but apart from that, I haven't eaten, not even a pea, for four years. Because you can't... It's, honestly, it, it's, it's not... It's like, if you think Atkins, it's Atkins ten times worse. So oh it's, it's no oh. bread, potato, pasta, but then no bananas, peas. Oh, very oh. But it's, no, it's nice, because it's just meat. It's meat <laughs> and it's fish. Oh. So when, we go out, when I go out with my wife to a restaurant, I literally will order four main courses. Um, and knock them all back. Yeah. Do you nick any of it, Katie? I love yeah. that. I'm not allowed to touch no. it. No, <laughs> we're married. There isn't that much, though. No, food yeah. is mine. Um, no, if you go for a curry, I'll have seven curries. But because then you're also doing yeah, the exercise. Yeah, I do that. Yeah. <laughs> but she has the naan too. Yeah. <laughs> but then because you do the exercise, though, yeah. you're, kind of, you're always burning it off. So I actually have to consciously eat more to try and keep my, uh, it's my so weight. It's so funny. How many times you say, actually, I'm quite lucky because it means I can't eat carbs and I have yeah. to be really healthy. It says we're all just going. <laughs> yeah, but, I know. We're, we're growing I can, more for I can you. drink alcohol. Oh, and you can okay. eat chocolate. Oh, so okay. it's an all right thing to have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. I just saw your lovely wife, Katie, there. Yeah. It's such a love, I love your love story. It, oh, do you know what? I, I, I mean, I'm, I'll get all gushy now. I, I thought I was so lucky in life because I had parents and a family who loved me. And then oh. two weeks after leaving school, I broke into show business. And I've had friends who have been actors all their life and never worked. Yeah. And I kind of got to the age of 30. Two was I at the time? And I thought, do you know what? Maybe I'm not going to be lucky and find the love of my life. Maybe, you know, my luck comes yeah. in my career and my family. And then just one day I randomly turned up to do an interview and Katie um, came to interview me and I literally rang my mum that day and said, I've met the girl I'm going to marry. Oh, um, I Told you it was good. <laughs> <laughs> just to be clear about this, you, you, Katie, you came to interview me and you were supposed to only be there for like an hour. And yeah. how long did you interview him for? Uh, about five. And I, yeah. then, <laughs> I then followed him as well. He said to me, um, we were leaving the centre where we'd been filming these dogs and he said, oh, follow me and I'll take you back onto the main road. I just carried on following you, Yeah, right? she followed me all the way to the house. <laughs> and then suddenly it was just like, you're still here. <laughs> I think my news desk yeah. on the phone saying, where are you? Yeah. <laughs> so presumably you instantly felt the same way as he did. I, I didn't think he'd be interested, but I thought he was amazing. I mean, I similarly rang my family and said, I've met the most wonderful guy. Oh. But I just didn't think he'd be interested in me in that way. And then I kind of said to you, didn't I, oh, you, you don't want to go on a date, do you? You just want to go out for coffee. And you, were, you said to me, I think... Miss Fawcett, have you never met yourself? And I just remember going, wow. That's like yeah. a movie. Well, I, mean, I, I genuinely believe that when you're born, you're born with half a soul. And I think you can go through life and you can be happy, you can have experiences, but the only other way you can actually become truly happy and truly complete is when you meet the other half of your soul, because that's what makes you a whole soul again. And I genuinely think she's that other half of my soul. <laughs> <laughs> He also puts the toilet seat down, does he? Oh, no, no, oh. wait, I'm going to say how useless she is. <laughs> yes, she does. I do all the cooking, all the cleaning, all the shopping, everything. <gasps> yeah. What? Thanks, Nadia, for bringing that one up. <laughs> yeah. um, he 
you go. He'd, right, Adam doesn't let me do heck it's of a lot. It's because you ruined everything. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh so, my God, we're going to split them. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! So how long have you been married now? We've been got married on December the twentieth. Yes, which we discovered marriage. is the same anniversary as me. Oh, yeah. right, we did it exactly a year later. Yeah, then. we were December the twentieth, twenty fourteen, uh -huh. um, oh. because we got engaged uh, in twenty. 12, don't shout at me if I'm wrong. Um, <laughs> and she didn't want to have a rushed wedding, um, but then she didn't want to get married in 2013 because it was unlucky. So we had the longest engagement. Uh -huh. um, but we always wanted a Christmas winter wonderland wedding because uh -huh. at that time of year, everybody's in such a good mood. Mm. True. Oh. And everything so, looks yeah. pretty, doesn't yeah. it? And you don't have to pay for flowers because there's Christmas <laughs> decorations <laughs> everywhere. Everything. It really does, yes. Yeah. No, it's so lovely to see you again, Yuri. Oh. Really. Yeah. Oh, nice. yeah, no, it's great. And look, tonight, Hollyoaks, as yes. we say, 7pm in E4. Yes. Brilliant. Adam, thanks so much. That's right. Thank you very much.